Times have changed since the 70s, but election battles remain almost the same. Campaign teams will forever struggle to find a way to engage the public with a vote-winning pitch. Labor's It's Time was specially designed for television and is seen by many as the birth of the modern campaign. The positive spin worked for Gough Whitlam in 1972 and ended 23 years of conservative rule. But fast forward 41 years and the rule book has been rewritten. Audiences may be fragmented across digital platforms, but they're more engaged and more likely to speak out. Traditional media used to be just get one message out to public and it didn't have that feedback response. Uh, in the social web, you can actually see how those conversations are actually happening and it's an opportunity for them to engage. In days gone by, town hall public meetings were the only way to really engage. One, one question at a time, please. Don't patronise me. I'm oh, not patronising, I'm just I'm saying one question at a time. Keeping control of the debate was even harder, as John Hewson found in 1993 when he struggled to sell his GST. The Labor campaign was devastating and won by focusing on a single issue. Paul Keating's unwinnable election saw him returned as Prime Minister. This is the sweetest victory of all. Three years later, John Howard went for the positive spin, declaring he'd govern for all Australians. It worked. He fought off another three campaigns, staying in power until Labor found his Achilles heel. Yeah, good on you, Mr Howard. Let's start with work choices. Penalty rates, gone. Overtime, gone. TV ads and photo opportunities are still the mainstay of an election campaign, but social media can also be a game changer. Millions are connected through networks like Facebook and Twitter, sharing their views and opinions for all to see. It's about having the two-way conversation and the back and forth um, with a whole lot of people at once at scale. Uh, and then also being able to develop the relationships so that you can facilitate conversations between them and their uh, friends, neighbours, colleagues. That was the strategy used by Barack Obama for the 2012 presidential election. Are you ready to go? His digital team produced stories about real people and fed them to supporters who in turn shared them with potential voters. It was seen as a return to grassroots campaigning. When he first came in the room he had this grin on his face. Politicians aren't the most trusted people in the country. Uh, but we do trust people like ourselves, we trust our friends and so uh, the political parties will be uh, looking at the lessons from the Obama campaign. The leadership. There's already plenty of material making its way straight to YouTube, like the Liberals mockery of the Gillard government. Everyone should take a very long cold shower. And Labor's response to Tony Abbott's budget reply. Detailed costed policies. But after a bruising few years, Kevin Rudd's latest ad suggests we might see a more positive approach in 2013. And for both sides of politics to have a positive plan for our country's future. There's no sign of Kevin O'Lemon among the opposition either. And remember how shocked you were when Kevin O'Lemon got the chop. Their latest ads take an each way bet, selling Tony Abbott as the alternative PM, while also reminding voters of Kevin Rudd's record. He was the architect of the Ruth Batch disaster. In How the voters respond to the campaigns? Well, that won't be known until polling day.